Welcome to Boots By. My name's William. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the Clark's Desert Boots, so we are going to party by discussing its merits and some of its downfalls, which is what my parents do at all my birthday parties. So let's get into it. Welcome to Boots Buy again. So grateful to have you here. As I said, today we are looking at the Clark's Desert Boot. This year they are 70 years old, so they've been around. Um, they, uh, As you may know, they came around after World War II. Nathan Clark, he was a, a shoe man. He was a shoe guy, he had a shoe business. Um, and he was over in North Africa and he saw a lot of officers wearing this type of boot. It came from, I believe, Cairo. Um, and yeah, so he saw a bunch of Officers wearing these boots, he came home, manufactured them, and basically that's what put Clarks on the map, and now they're still just like a gigantic company. You've no doubt heard their name. You'll find so many people wearing desert boots out and about. So, super common boot, really excited to, to review it, so let's just get into it. My first impressions of the Clarks desert boot, basically this is as simple as boot construction gets. You know, you have the upper is made with two pieces of leather. You have the vamp here, and then you have this whole stretch of leather going around the heel and the ankle. And very simple, uh, two eyelets, you know, small lace, and then there's stitched in here to a crepe rubber sole. There's no special stitching going on here. It's basically just stitched, cemented, and that's it. You know, right away, when you take a first look at it, I mean, it's an iconic boot, classic style. This fits into your casual wardrobe any way you want to do it. I think, and I'll get more into this a little bit later, you know, when you have a crepe sole, as you can see, I've worn this a little bit, but it starts to get dirty uh, really, really quickly. This stuff sucks up dirt. And then this becomes gray. This will become gray over time, the, the sole right here. So, you know, some people wear this or they want to wear a chukka boot or a desert boot to the office. And I think that will work for a little bit with the Clark's desert boot with the crepe sole. But once that gets dirty, it kind of just looks more, way more casual. It's just got a beater boot at that point. So um, yeah, so first impressions, you know, classic style, really excited to get my hands on a pair of these because you just see so many people wearing them and they're really, really comfortable, really easy to slip on, right? There's no, the tongue here isn't gusseted or anything like that. So just slip your foot in, slip it out, boom, bada bing, bada boom, that's it, super easy. The beeswax colorway appealed to me because, you know, it's just a really rich pull-up leather. And pull-up leather, if you don't know, basically what it looks like is it's super packed with waxes and oils, so you don't need to do too much conditioning. I These look a little bit darker than when I bought them. I have a video on me uh, caring and, and cleaning up these Clark's Desert Boots, so you can go up there and check that out if you want to learn how to clean your car. Uh, Clark's desert boots, but yeah, so these look a little bit darker because I have treated them But initially you get them. They're a little bit more rustic looking, but yeah pull-up leather. It's great You know, you can always tell if you're dealing with pull-up leather because you can kind of pinch it like that And it looks all light But then you just kind of take a thumb and rub it a little bit and then that will go away because you're basically Squeezing the waxes out and then you heat it up a little bit and they, they redistribute evenly throughout the boot and you get back to normal so the leather quality on the Clark's Desert Boot is exceptional, especially for the price point. I think we're under $150 and you're really getting high, high quality leather. Now let's talk about the sole. Again, this is crepe rubber. This is a crepe rubber sole. And basically that is a coagulated latex. It is not a super refined rubber that's like really hard or anything like that. And this has its positives and its negatives. For one, and I'll talk about the positives here of crepe, crepe rubber and crepe soles, that uh, crepe rubber is super, super soft and squishy. So this is a really comfortable boot. If you are in a job where you have to stand for long periods of time, like if you're in retail or uh, for some reason, I just thought of somebody working at Blockbuster where you just stand behind the desk, but Blockbuster doesn't exist anymore. So I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically, you know, if you're standing for long periods of time, this is gonna give you tons of cushion. And that is one reason that crepe rubber is just like, it's great to have a crepe sole if you're standing in one spot or are on your feet for long periods of time. The downsides to crepe rubber are, you know, it, it really depends on what you do in your daily life and what your long-term boot goals are. Uh, 
but basically, yeah, crepe rubber, it sucks up dirt like a madman. This, this sole is gonna turn gray in no time if I wear this another 20 times out, you know, by the end of the month. These will be pretty, looking pretty gray. And then also as you walk, you can kind of chip out some of the rubber because it's not super hardened. And for that reason, you know, crepe rubber isn't the most durable and it won't keep this very clean, beautiful cream color. It will kind of diminish and tarnish over time. As for fit and sizing, I got a 10.5. That is my true size. It's what I get in sneakers. It's what I get in boots, uh, most boots. And the Clark's Desert Boot in 10.5 definitely fit me true to size so don't try and game the system where you're buying you know size bigger or size lower or anything like that just go with the true size and you'll be set for break-in periods there really is no break-in period this whole shoe is super squishy as you can see there is one issue especially if you have uh, foot arch problems and you need a lot of arch support you know if you have flat feet basically these can be a, re a real pain because as you step down on them, there is no shank. There is no uh, arch support really built into these. So as you step down, you're not getting much support there. And so that can cause a pinching towards like the base of your heel if you're not, you know, if you don't add anything to it. Now, again, that's only for people with flat feet. So for me, I have excellent arches and I don't really notice, I didn't notice any discomfort. This was a super easy boot to wear around, start wearing. Uh, it breaks in really nicely, no, no pain, no soreness, but that is something worth noting for folks with flat feet. Here's what I like about the Clark's Desert Boot. So for me, this is an iconic boot. And you know, as, as a boot man, as a lover of boots, I do take pride in the fact that I have a 70 year, well, this, this boot isn't 70 years old, but you know, I have a piece of boot history. Uh, that is one of the main reasons why I actually picked it up, but also it's just a good, clean looking boot. Now, I don't wear them too often because I like to keep that cream colored crepe sole. There's just a few outfits where that really, really works well. And so I prefer uh, I prefer to, to wear them less frequently and keep this cream colored sole, keep them looking clean, because I like that look. The second thing I like about the Clark's Desert Boot is the quality of leather. For the price, under $150, this rich pull-up leather, it's hard to find this quality at this price. The third thing I like is how soft and squishy that crepe sole is. Uh, that really makes for a comfortable wearing experience. Again, same thing with like the break-in period, you know, slipping your foot in here, wearing them out, just like run, get out the door real quick. You know, this is a super easy boot to have right at the door so you could just slip it on and head out for some groceries, whatever you need to do, and still look really good. Here's what I don't like about the Clark's Desert Boot. That crepe sole, I know it still looks good now, but it doesn't have long in its current form, just like all of us, it's a great analogy. But it's going to turn gray, it's going to continue to suck up dirt, so that's an issue. The second thing I don't like about the Clark's Desert Boot is the fact that once the sole is dead, it is dead, you can't really resole it. So, you know, this beautiful leather, it just kind of has to, after two years or whatever, uh, when you get that heel slant, once it's gone, you just gotta kinda toss the boot and get a new one. Here's my final verdict on the Clark's Desert Boot. The fact that you are getting such an iconic uh, look, uh, such an iconic silhouette from a brand with a lot of legacy, uh, excellent quality leather, super comfortable sole, those are all you know real big positives in the Desert Boot's favor. On the other hand, you do have some issues with the sole like it, you know, it wears out a little bit quicker, it loses its luster, and also you can't resole it. So you really do have to weigh your pros and cons there. Now, I also have another video up here where I compare the Clark's Desert Boot to the Bushacre 2, and where they basically took some of the things that I'm complaining about right now, um, where I'm saying, you know, the crepe rubber wears out easily, it loses its color, and can't be resold. They changed a couple of those things for the Bushacre 2. It's the same boot but basically has a uh, hardened rubber sole. So if you're looking at this boot and you're like, wow, it looks so great. I love the fact that the leather's high quality, but that is a big concern of mine uh, with, with the sole. Head up to that video, check it out, and see if you like the Bushacre 2. Now, the Bushacre 2, you still can't resole that boot, but you will get a, a harder sole 
that will keep its color. It's dark brown, so it has a different color. It has a different look than this boot, but you do solve those two problems with durability and color. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Happy 70th birthday to the Clark's Desert Boot, rocking this iconic silhouette, 70 years strong. So again, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, put your best boot forward.